In modern Kenyan homes, cabbages are very popular. They are loved because one can serve many people and it is cost effective. This fact alone makes it a very profitable crop in Kenya because its demand is very high at all times. Based on its wide and regular usage in homesteads, the high demand for cabbages can bring great returns if you invest in this farming. You can learn how to grow cabbage from seed and become an expert in this field in a few simple steps. Before becoming an expert farmer though, you need to understand that the best cabbages grow under cool and wet conditions. Judy, whose farming journey started 10 years ago, say that though farming can be rewarding, it requires patience and perseverance for one to reap its rewards as there are no shortcuts in farming. wherever you're watching us from, you're right on time for Kilimona Biashara Show. We are in Naivasha, Nakuru County, and we're here to bring you one of the most common vegetables in your household, cabbage. Would you be interested in growing cabbage for your own consumption or for commercial purposes? Well, you are in the right place. Let's go to the farm. Yes, Rida. How are you? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Only kwa kukutoka kazi ni endelea huku. Huku tuna tuna ngombe. Oh. So hii ni majani ya ngombe, uh -huh. tuka tuna harvest. Ukichagua uh -huh. the one that can kill cows, they are not good. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Naona uko na shughuli mingi sana. Yes, sana. Na tena nasikia aside from this you are the biggest cabbage farmer in the country. Yes. Niko curious kufika kwa shamba yeah. tuanzie wapi? Tuanze propagation room. Propagation room. Unaji yeah. propagate ya pia? Yeah. So this is which unit now? This Hapa is proga ni? propagation room mm -hmm. where we do propagate seeds. Unaji propagate ya mwenyewe? Mi mwenyewe. Ah. Unaji ya mwenyewe. Mm -hmm. Which yes. is easier than ku kuweka seeds? You know, when putting your seed by yourself, mm -hmm. you save a lot. Oh. Yeah. This is a beautiful propagation house. Yeah, we mm -hmm. start by tomatoes. Oh, you have tomatoes yes. also? Yes. This is for... You must you must do the crop rotation. Oh. So you you, are, you cannot plant cabbages throughout. Throughout. Mm -hmm. You need to do a crop rotation. Oh. Now this is the cabbage mm -hmm. seeds. So I see they've already started sprouting. Have, yeah. Mm. Most of the time you get hundred percent germination. Yes. Mm. Once you you put enough water mm -hmm. for germination, it will be very nice. Yeah. So these are how many days old? This is three days old. Or three days old. The other one that you see here, they are germinating. Mm -hmm. You know, they are, you see they have started germination. Oh. This, they are five days old. So from here? Yeah. From here we go where we planted three weeks ago. Uh -huh. uh, those are our tomatoes. Mm -hmm. they oh, are for crop rotation. For crop rotation. Mm -hmm. Now we go for the cabbage now. Yeah. So this cabbages is, normally stays at the propagation house for how long? For four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks are enough. Uh -huh. This is for three weeks. Oh, this is three weeks now. Three weeks now. So next week they'll be they'll out be, of here. Yeah, they'll be out of here. Mm -hmm. Let me take you where 
where we shall go, we shall take them after here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now at this stage, eh? yeah. what are what are normally the key things that you do here? Nini yo, it was a muhimu kabisa. The key thing here mm. is you you put a lot of water, mm -hmm. enough water. Mm -hmm. You put fertilizer. It needs some urea, mm -hmm. some CN, mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. we do we spray main concepts. Oh. Yeah. Dawa ya kusuya barid. Is this irrigation na mani? Yeah. Ni, ni, ni. This is sprinkler irrigation because they need to be showered, mm -hmm. not to be poured. If you pour it once, uh -huh. the water, the, the seed will run away. Oh, yeah. So it yes, needs something to sprink. Oh, yeah. That is quite something. Yes. So from here. Once they are in the greenhouse, mm -hmm. they, 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 don't, they, they are not used to, to be in direct light. Yes. So we we'll have to shift them in mm -hmm. order to harden them. Oh. We keep them there. Okay. They are outside. Let me show you. Where okay, are, let's yeah. go. Lead us through. This is us and the cabbages. Oh, so are these points? Yeah. Oh, yeah, to put a light. Yeah. Now so this one, mm -hmm. it is three weeks. Oh, now, now, yes, then. this three week mm -hmm. cabbage, mm -hmm. that's where we come and put them here. That's how we do our shade. We do our greenhouse. Eh. Now you have to remove it. Mm -hmm. You take it to the pre, to where there is enough sunlight. Oh, just a shade, doesn't yeah. have to be. Yeah, because a if you remove it direct immediately to the farm, mm -hmm. it will get a shock. Oh. Because it so is not ones? used to be in the hot sun. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, I didn't know about it's that. It's like a baby. Mm -hmm. You cannot take it. Yeah. Four weeks. Chungwa, yes. So tell me, yeah. ukiwa katika hii sector four weeks now. Yeah. yeah. Nini unachunga sana ukiwa four weeks before yende kwa shamba? Nini hiyo important sana? Here in mm. four weeks, mm. you be very keen to to avoid to be attacked by insect. Oh. That is, the, we have caterpillars. Mm -hmm. We have some white fries mm -hmm. also we have some what do you call drips uh -huh. so before you you take them to the farm mm -hmm. you have to make sure that if they are very clean mm -hmm. they have no insect oh. they have no down milled mm -hmm. yeah all those things you have to be clean about it yeah, yeah. so also at this stage yes kabla upeleke kwa shamba yes hapa una uko na soilless media yeah na pale kwa shamba ni mchanga ya kawaida so hakuna hakuna anything yenye itafanyika kwa hiyo kwa hiyo mimea yenye imetoka kwa soilless ikaenda ikaingia kwa mchanga ya kawaida ah itafurahia sasa sababu kwa hii mimea ukiona iko na kamchanga kidogo au ume mix you see the roots the roots are very Mm -hmm. Nimig sasa. Mm -hmm. Na once the crop imekuwa kubwa hivi mm -hmm. inataka pahali ya ku expand sasa. Oh. Ndio itoe mizizi mingi. Yeah. Sasa once ukitoa hapa kwa hii stress ya kufinywa mm -hmm. inaenda inafurahia. Inafurahia kwa yeah. shamba sasa vizuri. Yeah, I will show you when it goes to the Hebu tutafute ile imetoshea hapa za za four weeks twende tukapande. Twende. Go and okay. find this one. This is very good. Sasa, mm. na mtu mwenye awezi sasa ku, ku propagate yake kwa greenhouse. Yeah. Atafanya aje? Ataenda Rogonot Farm. Mm -hmm. There is a propagation room there. Mm -hmm. Also, they do sell uh, pieces. You go and do the planting now. Ah, yeah. let's, I'm so eager. Utapanda saidi yo? Na mimi ni panda saidi. Kwa hii ni laini yangu. Yo ni laini yako Rita. Wacha ni kukabia bego. Sasa inakuwa very cheap. Tayari isha pimu. Isha pimu. Spacing imeeko 20 centimeters. No no 40 centimeters. Haikuwa gina mabo mingi. Ni kudugiria tu hivi. Oh na dumbilia tu straight. Yeah hivyo. Haina stress. Mchanga gani mzuri kwa upanzi wa cabbage? Mchanga ile mzuri ni mchanga ulio na volcanic soil. Sababu hiyo volcanic soil imeachana ina inaachaga inaigisha hewa kwa mizizi. 
na kama mmea huitaji hewa kwa mzizi kwa hivyo the sad soil the volcanic soil is very nice ni muona tukipanda umeka maji nyingi sana cabbage inahitaji maji nyingi ama ni ya kawaida tu cabbage tu generally 90% of it ni maji ukifinya hivi usqueeze kenya katabaki ni kidogo sana kwa hivyo inahitaji maji mengi sio unatoa wapi maji yako kuna borehole hapa farm na hiyo borehole tumeweka inatoaga 54 cubic liters per hour so kati ya mimea yote ukaamua cabbage mbona cabbage cabbage nilianza kununua ya duka nikaenda kwa msugo anaitwa John Doria tukafanya u contract na yeye alikuwa ananipatia 15000 seeds kwa every week sasa nikaona ninamlipa pesa mingi sana so i shifted from John Doria to my own farm so duka ikanunua mashamba duka ikanunua shamba ikanunua mashamba duka mm-hmm. expand mpaka ikakuwa kubwa hivi cooperative bank wakanipea loan ya 8000 ya kwanza hiyo duka mm-hmm. rafu after that but the way i started that shop it was very funny mm-hmm. i was having no money so i go to the market they know me very well because i used to be in the market so i told everybody you bring tomatoes you bring onions you bring this and after bringing you get your money after three days and they all agreed so i started my shop that way with zero without having any money how is the germination process growth yake ni 3 month kwa hivyo on the process ya 3 month inahitaji siku ya kwanza hii ya kupanda uweke manyua ya ngombe uweke fertilizer alafu after fertilizer sasa unaweka maji and you know we are doing drip irrigation and you see how the water is so it is 100% are these level do you normally experience pests and diseases and what do you normally do to curb them easy kwa each and every week lazima upige pest upige dawa ya wadudu na upige dawa ya barafu ukisema dawa ya barafu what do you mean kuna madawa kama ridomil inasaidia kuzuia boga kuchomeka na barafu matawi ama kupata hii ugojwa ya down mildew so it's good management putting fertilizer on time and manure yeah after every week moja unapiga once but when the, the there is no rain kama kuna mvua mingi hatuna charity mingi ni kupiga once na month Judy you've told me you have all levels of cabbages here so twende kwa hiyo level nyingine nitakuonyesha twende sawa na Judy when you were coming in i saw a tractor plowing that is how this land is being prepared ama this you can use your normal plowing method ya kulima kama kawaida no lazima utumie tinga kulima that is the first the first stage of prepar- land preparation mm-hmm. unaweka tinga inapidua mchanga then after rotating all the soil yenye ilikuwa tini inakuja juu now you that is land preparation mm-hmm. you make your beds you see how we are making our beds mm-hmm. you dig your holes mm-hmm. then you are done Judy, hii ni level gani? Hii iko na 2 month, 2 weeks. Na hii pande iko 3 month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There are so many. What are the management practices that you do here because there are so many. Sasa tunafanya hard weeding, tuna spray, tunaweka foria, foria lazima uweke, 
People say you can spray in the first week, second week, monthly. What is the spraying process of cabbages? Every week, una spray once. Now when spraying, unaweka dawa ya wadudu, unaweka dawa ya baridi, na unaweka foria. Then you apply urea. Kwa yo, kwa yo dawa. So which variety do you have here? Or what are other varieties of cabbages? This is Victoria cabbage. But kuna shabagina uko juu kuna sumudra cabbage. Sumudra diyo sasa hiyo boga ni kama coven. Inatakio na watu wa soko ya mudhurwa. Githurai wanatumiaga sumudra. Na hiyo inafanya hapa this area. What's the difference between those three? Kwa muda wa kukua inatumiaga 75 days maturity stage. Sumudra ita yasa kukuchukua three months. Kuna gururi ya cabbage, bado ni the same category with Victoria. Na hii boga ni mzuri sana. Shelf life, haiwezi kukua ibisha. Kwa hivyo tunangaria na mamba ya shelf life, tunangaria the speed ya kukua, diyo ufanye rotation kama kwa one year, unapada maratatu kwa shaba yako. What is the shelf life of cabbages? It can stay even one month. Iwe kwa shade. Ata ikitani yero, the leaves will be yero, but inside, waka itakuwa tu mzuri. Judy, ukona ekari nyingi sana za cabbage. What are the management practices? Hii ni kilimo biyashara. Na kama kilimo biyashara, we do plant every week in a weekly basis. You have talked about kilimo na biyashara and we have seen your kilimo. Talk to us about Biashara now. How is the market for cabbage? Ni kubwa sana. Imeanza Eldolet, imekuja Kisum, imekuja Naivasha, watu wanakula cabbage. Unaenda Nairobi, unaenda Kajiado, all the way Mobasa, Mashakos. Izo zote ni soko za cabbage. Na customer wanazigoja. Wakuraji wa cabbage ni wengi. I researched somewhere and I saw that you've won so many awards. Share with us your achievements. Award kurikuwa na women in agriculture. So mimi diyo nirikuwa women in agriculture number one in Kenya. It was 2018 and I was awarded by president. Nikapeo trafu. Nikapereko all the way to Argentina. Congratulations. That's impressive. You ni award kubwa sana. So what do you do when there is no market? Mimi sikosu soko. Sababu the cabbage you see here is very nice. The quality. Kama umelima kitu mzuri, hakuna hakuna soko kukosa. Because we have to below 15 shillings, below 30 shillings. Lazima uze. And so far how is the market price? Bei yake tunaipeaga average of 20 shillings. Na cost of production tunapeaga 5 shillings. 5 to 7. Sasa hiyo inatuonyesha ukiuza 20 bado uko kwa soko, ukiuza 50 like now we are selling at 50. Did you say you plant every single week? How about harvesting? How many times do you harvest? Every day we do harvesting. Every day. Then we vuna loli tisa. Sajina tuna vuna galoli ine. Congratulations. Wana zita ga the brew cows. Izo marolize tu ni brew. Tina eda marigiti. Every day, lazima tuweke loline za, za cabbage marigiti, tuweke ma, mzurwa, tuweke mobasa, tuweke machakos. Those are daily. Judy kwe kari nyingi za cabbage kama hii, changamoto zako ni zipi? Ni barabara na hiyo mambo ya, ya market kulipia. Utaasa lipia 10,000 kwa roli moja. So, kenye ulikuwa na, napata, inakurudisha nyuma sana. Umepanda cabbage miaka kumi sasa. Manufaa ya cabbage kwa mwili ni gani? Kwa diet ni mzuri sana kwa sababu wanasemaga hasa watu wenye wako na ugojwa wa saratani wakikula hizi boga ina reduce sana na inakuwa inazuia magojwa mingi sana cabbage. Na kama digestion system without cabbage sioni ukiendelea. Kwa hivyo ni mzuri at every meal ukikula weka cabbage kando. Judy tueleze manufaa ya upanzi wa cabbage. Mani 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 mani. Unasikia watu wakisema kahawa. 
sasa hii ndio kahawa yetu my house there is cabbage road imesimama pale ni cabbage mimi mwenyewe ni cabbage siwaniona na kura cabbage makilo ni mingi cabbage cabbage ni pesa do you normally offer trainings they always come here wana kujaga wanaingia kwa siku moja na walipisha just 1000 na ninawafundisha wanatoka kisi county eldolet wanakujaga na mabasi hapa student kama wa Egerton i was having three of them saigina nilikuwa kana 10 of them na wa train but for the student it's just for free sahi kuna mtu mwenye ameangalia upanzi wako wa cabbages na ametaka sana kuanza biashara unaweza mu advise aje mkurima lazima awe na shamba whether ni ya kukomboa ama ni yake binafsi kitu cha pili pale anapanda boga kuwe na maji Ya tatu, awe na mpangilio ya kufanya kazi kama kazi, haifanya daily job. Kama tuseme for example ni cabbage, apande every day boga elfu biri na ataweza kujipadia mwenyewe. Elfu biri, ukitua shirigi samba ya, ya, ya kazi, na uze 20, unaona hiyo mtu wakona pesa ngapi? 20 minus 7, that is, 12, that is 13. Sirigi kumi na tatu mara 2,000, iyo mutu amediajiri. Whether anamuagia na do, whether anamuagia na nini, she will never, or he, he or she will never be poor again. Judy, nina kumbuko niliambia mli harvest nyingi sana asubui. Kuna zinye zimebaki tu harvest kidogo? Tuende tuka harvest. Ok. Ziko mingi. Nilijua tu. Eke, 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 elfu, elfu, mi, atutakosa. Ziko mingi, atu escort. <laughs> Fia is here. Na unanga watu wa kigonga hivi. Kuja tu mungu. Inatoa sauti the, the, the size, the big one. Ikedia kumuwa juu. Inae, lita, ni kumuwa. Kwa mungu baka na matawi. Na nini chini? Eee. Hii rita. Unauzanga na kejis. Edoka pike. Edoka pike. Hii si kejis. Unauzanga na pieces. Kwa sana kutole mchaga rita. Usikuwe na mungu. Hii peleka nyubani. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sasa ni endo na hii? Endo na hiyo. Lakini una nipeleka wapi next? Nita kupeleka kwa soko pali na usagia. Jyo uwone vile boga zinapango na vile zinayoko kwa show. Sawa. Tuende. Kama bei ni sawa, ata hii napiga bei. Sawa basi. Ita uyuza. This is where we bring the small cabbages after harvesting the big one. Mm -hmm. We take it to Manigiti, Machakos, and Oleva. Uh -huh. The remaining small ones, they are here. <laughs> so, come in and how much? We are selling at 30. Uh -huh. 30 shillings, Kwamoja. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Easy, 30, 30. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. I'm so impressed by your family. Yes. Wow. Today, I've learned a lot. I hope you've learned also to plant, to grow, and to harvest cabbages. That has been Kilimona Biashara. My name is Linda Koskei.